This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. June 16th, you guys are in Greenville, South Carolina. It's Ricky and Robert taking on Tully and Orn. We talked earlier, you know, you were doing a lot of matches with, uh, with Rick as a tag team partner. Obviously he brings a lot of star power and a different approach, but when do you think you and Tully really started to find your rhythm as tag team partners? Because at this point you've tagged with everybody a lot, Ole, Tully and Arn. Of course, I think most of the people listening to this eventually come around to boy, Arn and Tully were probably the best of the bunch. When did you feel that way? That man, there's something here. That's just magic. Well, you know, Ole, when, when Ole and I would tag, Ole was the power guy, you know, I would, I would try to go in and set the mood of the match and the pace of the match and all that. And I've been quite honest with you. I took most of the beating with Tully and I, it was a whole different dynamic because his style of work was totally different. You know, we started to, to click, I would say the very first match, just me playing off of what he did and seeing openings and him creating openings for me and me for him. And it wasn't with a, without a lot of, you know, there wasn't a lot of conversation about it. It was just sometimes, you know, you put two guys together in the ring and they just click and I could start to feel it from day one. I really could. When you're back on the road, June 8th, no rest for the weary. Once again, uh, tagging with Ric Flair, taking on Ricky and Robert in a Texas tornado match. Okay. It's been 35 years. You can spill the beans. Texas tornado match. That just sounds cool on a poster. Do you actually change the match that you put together? There's no way, right? It's the same, right? Well, it's what you try to do is it actually starts. What we would try to do is start it out as a normal tag match but then let it melt down. And when it melts down with all four people fighting, there's no DQs, there's no count outs. You can then fight all around ringside. You can fight out in the crowd. You can do all that, but you still tried to have a little sense about this to build it from a match to a match breaking down. And now here comes the Texas tornado part. Um, Cause if you didn't, it's man, it's hard to just go fist fight for 20 minutes, you know what I mean? Or 25 minutes. So you had to build it. You had to have a little bit of match. That was the creative Liberty that we took. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.